Yo, what's up, guys? It's AJB here, back in the video, and today I'm going to show you guys the top five, um, top five cheap cars that are actually like really cool to own. So let me, I'm not going to say anything. Let's go ahead and get into it. Also, you guys are probably wondering why I'm talking so quietly. It's because I still have family members that are sleeping. Um, so forgive me on that. But yeah, I'm gonna talk a little bit quiet, um, quieter, just because I have family members sleeping. So, um. Yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. So starting off with the number five spot, we have a BMW. Now, obviously, what would it look now? What would a car list be without a BMW, right? If we're talking about cheap cars to own, then you can't go past the BMW, really, to be honest. So that's why I've added on the BMW i8. Now I know what you guys are thinking. You guys are probably like, "Ew, AJB, why do you have? Why are you saying this car is really cool to own?" Well, it's a pretty cool car to own. Not gonna lie. I know. I know this thing is kind of disliked by some people, and it's like really like underwhelming which I 100% agree with you but just check this out though so you have the car the car looks really good I'll admit the car does look really really good it it can be misleading and I was pretty let down when I saw this stat but if I just like let me look at this though you guys got butterfly doors on this thing and it's ju it just looks really cool now like, look at this from the front You cannot say that does not look sick. I mean, it's really just a nice car. It's a good looking car as well. I mean, it's a nice car. It's a good looking car. And it, it, it's just really cool. And plus, look at the, take a look at the detail inside of this thing. And plus, look at this. You guys got back seats back here as well. So you guys can fit the whole boy. You guys can fit all the boys in here, bro. There's four seats in total in a sports car. In this kind of car. Literally, a car that looks like a supercar. It's not a supercar. Let's just all admit it's a sports car. Hybrid car. Whatever you want to call it. Really, this is a freaking a car that looks like a supercar. And it's got back seats in it. But look at this thing. I mean, it looks really good. It's a really cool car. And look at I me. Mean, the detail looks really good as well. I mean, check this out. Let me just go ahead and for in a uh, first person here. And check that out. I mean, everything, all the detail, like the screen, stuff like that. I mean, they look really, really good. And plus, it's just like a nice car to just have and drive around in. Like, it's, it's really fun to do that as well. Now, don't get me wrong. In terms of stats, this car is freaking garbage and like really, really underwhelming. But if you just have it, like if you just have it and then you're just and then like you just kind of drive, then it's it's kind it's really fun to have. It's like a really fun vehicle. And either way, just kind of cool. I mean, it looks cool. The detail is really cool, and it's just a nice car to have. It's a, it's really cool to drive and. I think it's sick. I think it's a really good option. And plus, this car is really, really cheap as well. I think it's, this thing is like 56k, so that's a really good deal for me, in my opinion, at least. So yeah, not bad at all. I mean, I think this is a really solid choice if you guys want a fun car that literally has butterfly doors, and it's just fun to drive and really good detail. I mean, I think this is a perfect choice if you want something like that. All right, now we're going to go ahead and check out one of the um, one of our later, like one of our newer cars. Now this, we're going to take a look at the um, Honda S2K, Honda S2000. Yeah, this is a really nice car to have, especially like if it's like a drift build. Like this car is really, really fun to drift around, and it's a really cool car to have. Now I wouldn't say that the detail is necessarily great, but it does have a nice pedometer. I'll I'll say that it's a nice pedometer, and nice pedometers can kind of make up for the whole interior sometimes. But yeah, it's a really cool car to own, and I think it's really fun to drive as well. So I think this is something uh, that you guys um should definitely uh. Uh, should definitely buy it's honestly really cheap as well i think it's like what 73k it's really not that bad too and plus it's pretty fast as well for i mean for what price you're getting for like less than 100k i mean that's not bad plus you gotta admit that this thing does look at least somewhat cool and you guys can do like crazy like specs and stuff like that um, stuff like that for this thing as well like it's it's just so freaking cool dude and plus the engine looks really freaking good after like like look it just looks so good on how detailed it is it's just such a nice freaking car to have and, pull, and of course you guys can put the roof down i mean it's s2k any s2k can do that but yeah definitely a good looking car and i think it's i think it's definitely something you guys should look into getting if you want something that's like cheap and like a really cool car to, like a really cool car to own all right now we're gonna move on now correct me on the name if i'm wrong i've i just been seeing my comments and this is what they've been calling it so if i'm wrong then please correct me but we're gonna move on to the audi rs4 so yeah this in my opinion this thing just looks cool it's just really cool to drive in first person well like you got a nice pedometer really nice detail and stuff like that it's got some really nice detail into the model and like it's just a really cool car to like look back and notice that you're going almost 200 miles 
miles an hour in this thing. I mean, this is like literally like a family vehicle and you're going like 200 miles an hour. I mean, that's just kind of sick, not gonna lie. But yeah, this car is just overall really fun and it's like a really cool car to drive and really cool car to own in general. I mean, it's, it looks nice and like it's such a simple car and you do like simple specs on it and it just looks so freaking good. Like this, for example. I mean, look at that. That is so clean. And yeah, it's got some pretty good detail for the uh, engine um, engine bay as well. This is really cool. And of course, everything on this car opens like trunk, the like the trunk, the hood, and all the doors open up as well. And it's just a really cool car. Like, it's a family car, and this thing just looks, and it's just such a cool car to own. I wouldn't say it necessarily sounds the best, but that's kind of almost any car in vehicle legend but yeah it's definitely a sick car to own i, th I definitely suggest buying this if um you guys are wanting a car that uh it's really fun to drive looks really cool really easy to spec and make look good i think this is a, i think this is definitely a good choice all right guys so the next car we're going to look at um our second to last car is going to be the corvette zero one again this is another recent car but this thing is this is so freaking cool to own now let me go ahead and explain why so if you guys have the right build you guys can easily drift this thing just looks really cool to drift for whatever reason it looks like a two it looks it looks like a tuner corvette but it's a really cool car to own because like you have this car and it's just like you guys know obviously the normal um c5 c6 c6 you guys obviously know like the normal standard c6 and then like you just see this and it's like you think you have a very special version of the c6 well technically it is special version of the c6 but like it's just a really cool car to own it looks really sick it looks like it's meant for a drag for like a drag strip it's just i don't know something about it this looks really like modded and it looks so freaking cool and just thinking about owning something owning a car that looks like this in your freaking inventory it's just it's kind of it's it's kind of nice it's kind of nice and it's really cheap but yeah, this thing is definitely nice you guys can open it up and it just looks really good i don't know why but corvettes most of the time just look really freaking good when they are opened up like where their trunk is opened up and their hood is opened up for some reason it's always just looked really freaking good just just look at that dude and the interior is also really really freaking nice as well i mean check that out dude it's a really nice interior i know I know it's gonna feel blank but it's just like i don't know it's like it's like it's like it's very very what's the word i use subtle i guess i don't know what the word is that i would use but it's just such a nice car like it's very little but but not too little to where it looks bad you know and this car just looks really good in general i mean check this out dude it, it, it looks so freaking good for some reason and plus it's just a really fun car to drive around as well i know i've said that so much but like the detail in here is really freaking good it's just driving this while knowing how great it feels like this is not bad dude and plus this is so cheap i think so if i'm not wrong i if i'm not mistaken this car is about 78k so about 78k for this thing not bad at all for something like for something like this like that is not bad at all dude so if there's this and like this car is so freaking cool what can top this off well i may get slammed for it and it, it could be a little bit controversial our last and final car is going to be the corvette c8 now hear me out this car has a lot of detail and it looks really freaking good so I'm, I'm gonna just go ahead and hop out of here real quick and you guys can see the detail in here it looks super freaking good a bunch of detail and the interior itself just looks really really cool and it's really nice you guys got the uh you guys can mess like with the wing and some of that you guys can put the custom wings on and it's a pretty easy car to customize i know a lot of people are gonna be getting, like getting mad at me be like oh of course you put this on them once but it's just a ca everyone knows a ca then a bunch of kids are wanting a ca and stuff like that like it's it's something along the lines of that and it, it, that's not the case but it's really it's really cool to own and if you guys want a drift build i definitely suggest you go with this because this thing is wow it slides like, look at this look at this look at this okay you know what i'm not the best drifter but this car is just extremely extremely cool to own i absolutely love this thing literally i drive this around sometimes Check out that drift. You also that you saw you, you saw that you saw that drift. That drift is beautiful, dude. I'm telling you, it's so fun to drive this thing, and it's fast. It's really it's really fast. It's just a really good car to own. It's really cool. You got you can make it look really cool. You guys have the like the wing options and stuff like. Oh my god, it's beautiful. Like you guys can do. It, it's just really fun. It's a really cool car to own. It looks cool. It, yes, it looks cool. It looks cool. It's cool to drive and really fun to drift. And like you guys have like this cleanest drifts i swear you guys have the option wing so you guys can make it look even cooler and it 
I don't know. It's something about it that just makes that just so freaking cool. Also, you also kids, listen up. I did put Ferrari rims on this car, so get mad at me all you want. But yeah, it's definitely one of the, one of like the best freaking cars to own, or like just how cheap it is. Now you're probably asking me, how cheap is it? Well, it's a little bit more pricey. But it's still under 100k. It's 95k for this thing. Yeah, you did not even expect that. This you probably expect the thing to probably be like 110k. This thing is 95 grand, dude. And you guys are drifting this thing for like the most. It's so fun to drift this thing, and it looks good. The interior is really. Oh uh, yeah, the interior is just so freaking good, dude. It's really detailed for what it is. And again, it's also really really fun to drive. This is definitely a car that I suggest anyone to buy with little money not entirely for like how for like racing and how it performs but just to have and drift around and drive around definitely i 100 i 101 percent think you should get this but anyways guys that's gonna be pretty much all for this video comment down below which is your favorite car in this list and um yeah that's gonna be pretty much it if you guys didn't enjoy then leave a like it's on my channel follow me on twitter enjoy my discord server enjoy my robots group also will be links in the description have a great day everyone and peace I won't let